Hello, my name is Laura Lawfer. I'm the Sustainability Coordinator at Central Carolina Community College. We're also known as Green Central for our sustainability programs. Leadership of the college has embraced sustainability as a key area of focus. And to do this, we want to talk to all ACA students about sustainability in society and how it affects your daily life. Sustainability has been defined as conserving resources today for future generations. This short video explains sustainability in two minutes. Maybe make some notes about some of the key concepts that they mention in this video, because you'll need them later. Sustainability means that things can keep going, can sustain themselves, can continue into the future and go on forever. From a human perspective, sustainability for our planet means that it can continue to do what it was designed to do. Provide fresh air, clean water, produce food, and allow us all to have a high quality of life forever. Unsustainability means that it cannot, and that is where we are now. Twenty years ago, scientists in Sweden developed a definition for sustainability with four basic principles. These can be seen as the care instructions for our planet. If we follow them, it is good for our planet. And because we are part of the system that is our planet, it's good for us too. The care instructions are as follows. Reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and heavy metals. Reduce our dependence on synthetic chemicals that persist in nature. Reduce our destruction of nature. Ensure we are not stopping people globally from meeting their needs. Demand for the Earth's services, clean air, water, food, increases as the population increases and living standards rise. But the Earth's ability to provide these services is declining because of the way we're living. In our search for prosperity, growth and success, we are destroying the system that we as humans are completely dependent upon. Nature. We humans have become a threat to our own way of life. The Earth is a system and everything is connected. Society, environment and economy. To live sustainably, we need to follow the four care instructions and apply them to everything we do at home and at work. If we can follow these care instructions, we can work together to be sustainable. We will all have a better quality of life. We'll waste less, we'll pollute less, and we'll create more things we value in society, while improving our planet's chances of providing us with the very things we need to survive. Everyday sustainability. What do we need to do every day to have a more sustainable future for future generations? We need to reduce our energy use, decrease pollution, and share our resources so all of humanity can thrive. The decisions we make each day influences global sustainability. Have you ever thought about that? Locally, we have some sustainability challenges that you might be familiar with. This picture shows students gathering trash at Jordan Lake, which is a major water source for our region. This picture is of a coyote. Coyotes are expanding in our region because their habitat is being destroyed. This purple sign is a sign of the Code Purple Days. Many of you are familiar with having Code Purple Days in the summertime when the air quality is so bad, elderly people and young children are recommended to not go outside at all. These are all sustainability issues that we deal with every day in our area. Why is sustainability an issue? We're running out of important resources. Fossil fuels, soil, fresh water, and our species are endangered. We have overuse of renewable resources. Our forests, especially our rainforests, are being degraded. Our fish and wildlife are being threatened by pollution of air, water, and soil. And there's inequity. There's economic inequity. More and more people are living in the poverty level. Many countries don't have access to free and fair elections. There are social inequity people having access to health care and education. And there's gender equity issues where women still do not have access to markets and education. We do have alternatives. We can focus on renewable energy, resource conservation of forest oceans, fair trade, and gender equity in markets and education.
These are some key sustainability concepts. Habitat conservation. The destruction of rainforests are causing soil damage and destroying species habitat. Resource conservation. It takes thousands of years to create an inch of topsoil. We need topsoil to grow crops. There are ways that we can plant and have agriculture that preserve our topsoil and soils. Energy conservation. Americans use 20% of the world's energy, yet we're only 5% of the world's population. Oil and coal are the primary sources of U.S. energy consumption. Climate change. All of our energy consumption is changing the temperature of the planet, causing more severe weather instances. Equity. Is everyone on the planet getting enough to eat? Do they have access to health care and education? Is that fair for some to have more than others? The story of stuff is a short video that explains how our consumerism affects the planet and our health and our society as a whole. We all have a lot of stuff. Think about how much stuff you have. Think about all the storage units we see all over our neighborhoods. We all accumulate stuff, but where does it come from? How is it made? Where does it go? What are the implications of all this stuff? And really, how much stuff do we really need? Can our habits be changed to use less stuff? Would you want to? Watch this video. Be prepared to discuss with the class how you feel about all the stuff in our society. Our use of energy serves as a great example of a sustainability challenge. Energy use equals carbon pollution. This picture is in China. The smog in China from coal-fired power plants is so bad that people cannot see during the day and the rates of asthma and cancer are increasing rapidly. We also have a huge carbon footprint in the United States. This short survey can help you determine what is your carbon footprint. Before you take this carbon footprint quiz, you should know how much energy you use in your house, how many miles you travel a day, and have an idea of your dietary requirements. This carbon footprint calculator from nature.org gives you a great idea of how much energy you use every day. Commuting, sheltering our families, eating, each of us contributes to the greenhouse gas emissions that are causing climate change. There are many things that each of us as individuals can do to reduce our carbon emissions. The choices we make in our homes, our travel, the food we eat, and what we buy and throw away all influence our carbon footprint and can help ensure a stable climate for future generations. So for next week, take this carbon footprint survey, gather your data, and come back to class ready to report your carbon footprint and some ideas you have for how you can reduce it. So some ideas for how to reduce your carbon footprint we'll cover next week. But obviously we all know that we can reduce, reuse, recycle, buy less stuff, grow some of our own food, conserve energy, and drive less. What are some of your ideas? Make sure and note your ideas for class next week. Now we'll break up to four groups, individual activities, school activities, government actions, business products and services, and determine, is this sustainable? We appreciate Dana Hain from the UNC Chapel Hill Institute for Environment for sharing this activity with us. In your group, you'll assess the sustainability of one activity from the list and determine whether it is economically, environmentally, and socially sustainable. You really have to have all of these elements to be considered sustainable. Economics, environment, and social. You need to be able to explain your decision to the class. So break out into four groups and decide in your group which activity you will choose from each of the four subtopics here. So take about 10 minutes to discuss the environmental sustainability, the social sustainability, and the ecological sustainability of one item from each category. Choose a reporter to report out to the class. Your final assignment for next week 
will be to define these key sustainability terms. Resource conservation, habitat conservation, energy conservation, carbon footprint, sustainability, climate change, chemical toxins, equity, pollution, and a materials economy. Mac Moore and Ryan Lewis have been on the radio a lot lately. I know my kids love this song, Thrift Store. McLemore and Ryan Lewis grew up in the um, Seattle area where they enjoyed being in nature. That is a key element of sustainability, being able to be outdoors and enjoy the environment in a safe and healthy way. Check out what McLemore has to say about appreciating nature. What about you? What's your message about nature and sustainability? How's it going? I'm Mac Lamore. I'm Ryan Lewis. What will you do for Earth? I grew up on Capitol Hill in Seattle, and it's amazing to actually compare Seattle with the rest of the country and the rest of the world in terms of nature and beauty, where you have mountains in the distance, you have water right there, you have trees, you have this vibrant green. Um, you have kind of the best of all worlds on a sunny day. <laughs> you know, coming out of the Northwest and that environment to shoot hip hop videos, it's a little atypical of a place to be. You know, do you go out into different environments in terms of writing or being creative? I think that we've had the opportunity to go up into you know the Cascades, go to Leavenworth, Washington. Like Washington, where we're from, has so much to offer. Uh, in terms of just intense, epic surroundings. You know, I grew up in the 80s, so it was really before this age of technology that gave you purpose and reason to stay inside all the time. Like, we kicked it, we played games, we did sports, everything was done outside. So there was an appreciation for nature just kind of why would you want to stay indoors you know like one kid in like a four block radius had a nintendo there was no internet there was no computers it was like cops and robbers capture the flag let's use our imagination and, and kick it outside and i think that that's something that's unfortunately kind of lost in this generation of we have so many distractions on an immediate level indoors a big part of my upbringing in terms of making hip hop music was at parks because we were too young to kick it at our parents' house. You know, it'd be Friday night and that's where you would end up was at a Seattle park. And that's really where I started rapping was, you know, and freestyling was in Seattle parks. So I have a long lineage of kind of finding out who I am really via the outdoors. To learn more about sustainability at CCCC, watch our video. You can also participate in the Students for Sustainability group. We're on Facebook. There are recycling containers all around campus. If you don't see one, ask for one. Participate with the Student Government Association in the Earth Day events coming up in April. Work in your own community to promote cleaner water, habitat conservation, and carpooling. Check out these ideas from the Nature Conservancy. Or you can contact me, Laura Lawfer, if you want to get busy being more sustainable at your home, at your place of work, in your community, or right here at CCCC.